The project theme is cultural or the live library. City's own identity and its specific character are able to create a memorable image of city. It provides a strong experience connection to physical setting and social cultural context of the place. Radnapura is a major city in Sabargamu province in south central area of Sri Lanka, which is well known as the traditional center for gem industry and other unique traditional cultures. With the rapid urban growth, current Ratnapura city is in the process of losing prestige and culturally significant image and transferring to accommodate a rather generic character to the city, dis disregarding the place and the cultural significance. Thus, the design intent is to reform city's unique identity through built form and space that supports a strong social, cultural, economic development which contributes in rebuilding the unique image of the city. To re-establish city's unique character, the city center's historic present and associated river fronting sites were identified as key cultural precincts that could accommodate a major development that helps to restrain the lost cultural identity of the city. The proposed library being the new knowledge and cultural hub of the city will act as a connector of the existing historical site and new cultural belt along river frontage. The new social cultural activities and functions will boost the social life and public realm of the city and will revitalize the public activities in existing gem institute, police station and other historical port present. This is the cross section through the subject site and its relationship to river and historical present at the hilltop. Accordingly, the new facility embraces the unique topographical character of the place and creates a strong link between old and new, introducing new functions that reinforce the cultural experience of the place. New cultural precinct helps to continue the existing street facade by providing a continuous activated streetscape fronting to main street while providing premiable entry points to Color River frontage. In terms of the functional program, the proposed library as the new knowledge and cultural hub not only accommodate the generic formal program of a library but also function as a vibrant public place which accommodates the various activities from the piece of war, performing arts and crafts exhibition to the place for public gathering and festivities. This is the overall layout of the proposed facility. It shows the configurations of the proposed facility and its connection with the surroundings, mainly with the street, Dutch fort, at a high level and the river frontage. The unique locality fronting the river, the sloping terrain and views of the city and Dutch port were few key considerations that define the architectural composition of the building. This is the ground floor layout of the building which is designed as an extended part of the city providing public access to various functions and amenities. Colonnaded walkway along the street frontage provides shaded pathway for pedestrians. Premiable configuration of ground floor integrated with covered walkways, steps and ramps leads people to different courtyards, activity node or river interface. Various types of food court, large open air theatre, terrace, open spaces, steps and seating areas create a buzzing river frontage for public use. The left side entrance of first floor lead people to exhibition platforms galleries above. The main middle entry point provides access to main library space which is integrated with number of gathering and discussion nodes and associated amenities. Ramp on right hand side provides access to food court at first floor level which has borrowed views of the riverside below. The overhead bridge connects to this level provides a direct pedestrian link to all Dutch port precincts. Thus, this acts as an important physical connector or an extension of city that links with cultural precincts. 
The right hand side incorporate activities including children's library, discussion areas, quad zone for writing and research and administrative areas. The galleries and exhibition areas are incorporated to left hand side view. The public ramp down to ground level provides unobstructed access to riverfront improving the connectivity and permeability. The archive section being the main space of the library is arranged at the mezzanine levels of third and fourth floors. The mini auditorium is located above the admin block, creating a space for performing arts, range from vocal and instrumental music, dance and theatre. This is the street elevation of the building. The arch-shaped colonnade corridor to the street Frontage resemble the verandas and shaded walking corridors of building in Dutch Fort, Saman Devale, and other historical significant buildings in the area. Colonnaded walkway act as a public promenade, providing shade from sun and rain. The kiosk, small food stall, and other public amenities helps to activate the street frontage. The first floor is set back from the street creating a double height volume for the public promenade thus the first floor activities open out into public promenade improving surveillance and public safety at a strategic location at the ground level the building facade open us to the courtyard and riverside beyond connecting to the various public activity spaces fronting to river river performing spaces seating and gathering areas exhibition areas the main library building is located at a central elevated position adding a significant presence at and character to the streetscape the long cross section across the exhibition gallery main library and auditorium show the build form configuration and building interfaces to sites and internal courtyard the bridge, designed as a landmark, providing a convenient pedestrian access across the road, linking the city with the main library or the cultural precinct, and pedestrian promenade at the riverside. This is the detailed section across the library. The street interface up to second level of library has solid appearance having a reinforced concrete column beam structure, but the upper most level of the library, the roof and the interface to riverside has a lightweight appearance having an integrated a timber structure. The timber roof truss and integrated detail of structure infuses rich character and spatial experience of the place. The detail of carpentry work reinterpret the highly crafted building culture of the place especially in main library building this is the detailed section of exhibition gallery wing and construction system different from main building with roof structure these are the indoor outdoor architectural and functional play in above mentioned exhibition wing Entry of the building act as a gathering node or the extended part of the street. This is the exhibition pavilion in second floor level with unique cultural exhibits. The cultural court is always engaging with public. The riverside food court act as one of the main viewpoints of river and this is the section with construction details when enter into the pedestrian promenade from rear side several public spaces can be experienced including food court this cross section is provide details about special arrangement in food courts admin area and mini auditorium these are the construction details and materiality of this architectural intervention to explore the product. Thank you.